This question says a cylinder is filled with 10 liters of gas and a piston is put into it. So it looks like this. The initial pressure of the gas was measured to be uh, 103 kilopascals. So we have a 10 liter cylinder at 103 kilopascals. We then push the piston down to make the volume go from 10 liters to 2 liters, and we want to know the final pressure of the gas. So we're relating two variables. And the ideal gas law is PV equals nRT. P is the pressure, P is the volume, N is the um, number of moles, R is the ideal gas law, constant, and temperature, or T is the temperature in Kelvin. So we want to relate two of these variables. In this case, we're not changing N, the amount of gas in the system, or T, the temperature of the system. So we're only relating pressure and volume. So if you're looking at two variables that are on the same side of the equation, like pressure and volume, that means they're inversely proportional to each other. So as the volume goes down, the pressure goes up. We can write this relationship mathematically as P1, V1, equals P2, V2. So this is an inverse proportionality because they're on the same side of the equation. If we were relating, for example, volume and temperature, those would be a direct proportionality because they're on opposite sides of the equation, and it would be V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, and that's Charles' law. This particular law, P1, V1 equals P2, V2, is referred to as Boyle's law. Now let's plug in. So the initial pressure here is 103 kilopascals times the initial volume, which is 10 liters, equals the final pressure, that's what we're trying to figure out, that's the variable, I'm going to leave it as P2, times the final volume, which is 2 liters. What you want to do is multiply the two numbers and then divide by the number next to the variable. So 103 times 10, divide by 2, P2 equals 515 kilopascals. So this is the final pressure. You'll notice that the volume went down 5 times from 10 to 2, so therefore the pressure went up 5 times, which is 103 times 5, or 515 kilopascals.